Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Ty, and today we're gonna talk about the dark side of forex psychology. Now, this is about to be like a roller coaster ride through the market maze. What's going on, world changers and money makers? Now, welcome to the thrill of the ride of forex trading, where the only thing more volatile than the market is your own heartbeat. Today, I'll be a guide on this journey through the highs, the lows, and the oh no's of forex psychology. So today, we're diving into the dark side of forex psychology, a roller coaster ride through the market maze. And I want you to think of this as your personal survival guide to mental gymnastics of forex trading. Now, if you're in a car, go ahead, just let this thing run. If you're at home, you know, put this on in your earphones, walk around the house, clean up, things like that. That's what these type of videos are for. Now, let me tell you, forex trading is like being in a relationship with the market you know some days it's all candlelit dinners and long walks on the beach and other days well it's sleeping on the couch wondering what went wrong ignoring each other but fear not because today we're going to learn how to dance to the rhythm of the market without stepping on this toe so buckle up keep your arms and your emotions inside the ride at all times and let's get this show on the road so i want to talk to you about the mind game okay so the mind game, let's talk about the mind game in forex trading. You know, it's a lot like being a magician. You got to keep your eyes on the moving parts. And just when you think you figured it out, poof, the market pulls a rabbit out of hat and leaves you wondering which spell right to cast next. Now, in the world of forex, psychology is your secret weapon or your hidden trap door. It can even lift you to new heights or, well, drop you into a pit of snakes. And no, I'm not talking about the cute and cuddly snakes, right? It's all about understanding your mind's tricks and treats, for example. So you ever made a trade and you felt like King Midas, right? Thinking everything you touch turns to gold, that's your mind playing a confidence card. But remember, even Midas had to learn the hard way that everything, right, should not be gold, like your cereal or your cat. And then there's the other side of the coin, or should I say the other side of the forex chart. Now, have you ever hesitated on a trade because your gut was doing more flips than an Olympic gymnast? Hey, that's your trading intuition talking, but sometimes it's just indigestions from last night's pizza, right? So the trick is knowing the difference. So my fellow traders, as we embark on this journey through the market's maze, remember, it's not all about the numbers and the charts, right? It's about mastering the mind games, your own personal mental Olympics. And don't worry, right? There's no actual gymnastics involved. Well, unless you count your brain cells doing like somersaults every time the market dips, right? Hey, so now let's talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. Now, let's go ahead and navigate right through the good, the bad, and the downright ugly sides of forex psychology. I want you to think about this as like a financial soap opera where every trader is both the hero and the villain depending on the episode. So first up, let's talk about the good side. It's like finding a $20 bill in your old jeans. This is where you make sharp decisions, trust your gut, and ride the wave of market trends like a pro surfer. Now you're in the zone, decisions are crisp like a fresh salad and profits, right? Booming like a spring flower. Okay, but then here comes the bad. It's the overconfidence, thinking you can predict the market like a weather forecaster. Now, spoiler alert, it's more unpredictable than a cat on catnip. Overconfidence in trading is like wearing a blindfold, trying to hit a pinata. Now, look, you might hit it big or, well, you might smack your grandma by accident. And now the ugly. Now, this is the best part, right? Emotional trading. That's like going on a shopping spree after a bad breakup. Sure, okay, it feels good at the moment, but your bank account will not be thanking you later. Either bought or sold out of fear, hope, or because you felt like it was the right move. That's the ugly rearing its head, turning your trading strategy into an emotional roller coaster. Hey, and let's not forget this little anecdote, right? So picture this, a trader named Joe, thinking he's the Wolf of Wall Street, goes all in on a hunch turns out this hunch well it was just his lunch not sitting well right he trusted his gut so the market did a flip and so did joe's portfolio straight into a dive lesson always check if it's a hunch or if that's just last night's burrito talking so there you have it right the good bad and ugly of uh, forex psychology and it's a mix of sharp instincts overcooked confidence and emotional soup yeah, you stir it right and you got the right recipe for success, baby. You stir it wrong and, well, you just might end up with a kitchen fire. Now, let's talk about FOMO. Okay, let's talk about FOMO. Let's talk about the silent account drainer, the stealthy ninja of the world of trading. FOMO, the fear of missing out, is like seeing your friends jump off a cliff to a lake and thinking, hey, that looks fun. Now, look, 
I've jumped off the cliffs and I've jumped off of bridges. So I will say it is fun. But except in Forex, you're jumping into a sea of charts and numbers. FOMO is the little voice in your head that whispers, what if this is the big one? And every time a trend appears, it's like being at an all you can eat buffet, filling your plate until it's leaning tower pasta, right? Because what if you missed the best spaghetti bite ever? But here's the deal. FOMO or fear of missing out can turn you into a trading yo-yo just up and down up and down in and out of trades based on the fear of missing the next big wave it's like chasing a bus after it's already left the station super exhausting and let's be honest that that's kind of embarrassing right so in the forex world FOMO can make you jump into trades without proper analysis like diving head first into a pool without checking for the water and trust me hitting the bottom of an empty pool now that's gonna leave a knock on your head and it's gonna leave a mark on your portfolio. But hey, don't worry, right? So we've all been there. The key to recognizing FOMO, feeling is before you know, it hurts your trading strategy, turn into a game of you know, pin a tail on a donkey and blindfolded decision making. I don't believe that's the right recipe for success. So that's why I always tell people, you know, stick to a plan, have a trading plan and stick to a plan. So remember in the game of Forex, patience isn't just a virtue. It's actually your best trading buddy. And you know, you can actually buy a trading buddy. I have, you know, some trade boy plush dolls if you need a trading buddy, but look, let's keep FOMO in check. And that's like having a good bouncer at the door, you know, of your decision making club. The only letting rational thoughts in and keeping a wild party crash your emotions, well, out of it. So I really want to go in on this part, right? I really want to go in on this part. And this is the dark side revealed of Forex. So let's talk about it. So, all right, fellow traders, it's time to unveil the dark side of Forex trading. Now, you know that part, right? The part where the market turns from a friendly game of Monopoly to a high stakes poker match with your emotions as the chip. So let's start with the stress factor. Trading Forex can be super nerve wracking and it can be as nerve wracking as trying to defuse a bomb with a pair of chopsticks. Now, how would that work, right? Every tick of the market can feel like a tick of the clock counting down to the big kaboom or a big payday. And then, well, there's your anxiety, the constant companion of many traders, right? It's like having a backseat driver in your brain constantly questioning you about every turn you make. Should I buy? Should I sell? Hey, maybe you should have stayed in bed today. Maybe you should have did this. Maybe you should have did that. But it's not all doom and gloom. So remember, 90% of traders may actually lose money, but that means there is 10% of people doing things right. And nah, look, they're not all financial wizards or market profits, right? They're folks who, well, know how to keep that dark side in check. All right, so let's spice things up a little bit with a story, right? So imagine a trader, let's call him a, let's call him Lucky Larry. So Larry saw candlesticks charts in his dream. He read market reports like bedtime stories and even named his goldfish, bull and bear. Hey, now one day, Larry got so caught up in the market made, hey, he forgot his own wedding anniversary. Hey, let's just say that night, the market wasn't the only thing that was crashing, right? But look, here's the good news. The dark side of Forex isn't a black hole that you can't escape. It's more like a tricky maze with the cheese at the end. And if you're a smart mouse, it's about balance, discipline, and not letting the market play puppeteer with your emotions. So as you do that dance with the market, watch your steps, keep your head cool, your strategies hot, your heart out of the equation. And remember, in Forex, you're not just trading currencies, you're trading mindsets. And the best traders in the world that really make a profit, they already know, hey, it's about mastering the market and not letting the market master you. So I wanna really go in on this too, right? The bright side of things. We've been talking about the dark side of Forex, but what about the bright side of Forex? Now, after venturing through the dark, you know, all these twisty tunnels of Forex psychology, let's step into the light, baby. Let's step into the light. Yes, my friends, there is a silver line into this financial cloud and it's actually called, hey, trading like a boss, right? So first up is discipline. It's the anchor in many stormy seas of the market. Think of it like having GPS in the wild world of Forex. It keeps you on course. And no matter how tempting those off-road adventures might seem, because hey, trust me, I know them, them adventures seem fun, right? Hey, you got to stick to the plan. Then there's education. Knowledge in Forex just isn't power. Knowledge is your armor. Think about you going to the battle, right? Knowledge is your armor. What you know will 
take you to the next level in this game. So the more you know, right, the, the less likely you'll be able to fall for the market's tricks and traps. It's like going to a magic show and you know all the street, the secrets. So the illusions don't really fool you anymore because, well, you know everything. Right. And let's not forget about a balance. You got to have a balanced lifestyle. So a balanced lifestyle is like having a diversified portfolio. It keeps you steady. But don't let forex like uh, consume your life. Remember, even the market takes weekends off. So for me, you know, I do my entertainment stuff. I'm always creating new things. I literally just keep myself busy. So I'm not thinking about the market all day. If I really start thinking about the forex, I'll start making, you know, more products inside the marketplace. But check this out, right? Here's the takeaway. Mastering Forex isn't about reading charts or predicting trends. It's about knowing, understanding yourself, reading yourself, understanding your emotions, keeping them in check. It's like a dance between discipline and intuition, knowledge and instinct, right? And remember, in the Grand Casino Forex, the house doesn't always win. And with the right mind, strategy, and just a little bit of luck, hey, one day you could be the one calling the shots, right? So keep learning, keep balancing, and uh, hey, may your trades be as bright as your future, right? So my fellow market adventurers we've journeyed through the peaks and valleys of forex psychology together from the mind games of the fomo fears from the dark twists to the bright breakthroughs right remember in the forex world you're the author of your own story make it a tell of wisdom not just like a comedy of errors okay so be the trader who laughs in the face of challenge winks at opportunity and keeps a cool head while everybody else loses theirs so keep your wit sharp and your strategy sharper your emotions in a locker right yeah lock them emotions up baby lock them up the market's a wild ride but once you got the maps and the tools hey and now the psychology hey it's the armor that you need to navigate it so hey thank you for joining me on this roller coaster ride through the market maze here's to your success your growth and all the you know the amazing stories that you'll trade trade like a boss stay sharp and let the market know you're here to play hey and let them know that you're playing to win so until next time keep trading keep thriving and remember the best investment that you can make is in yourself now it's your boy tayo in there signing off and i kept you guys on the flip side hey Keep grinding, baby. Let's get it.